solar powered digital education program installation selco office in bijapur receives an inquiry about the digital education program from a school the sales executive meets the principal and explains how the digital education program addresses the need to enhance teaching and learning methodologies to improve learning effectiveness better visualization of concepts and improve classroom teaching through the use of digital education content he also explains the need of solar powering the infrastructure to ensure the predictable usage and sustainability of the solution he examines the classroom in order to place the television dc to dc converter and the battery he also checks the shadow free rigid area to place the mounting structure for the solar panel after confirmation from the school principal he fills the order acknowledgement form and takes the signature of the principal confirming the order and thanks him and leaves sales executive arrives at the branch office and briefs the branch manager about the requirement of the school principal and submits the order acknowledgement form branch manager gives the order acknowledgement form to the office administrator and briefs him to generate the interbranch memo the office administrator raises the interbranch memo and goods receipt note and generates a delivery chalan which includes the material list and tax and service invoice he checks the material received from the go down as per the delivery chalan he calls the school and confirms the availability date and time for installation he gets the signature of the branch manager on the delivery chalan the branch manager briefs the technician about the order and asks him to get the material ready technician takes the delivery chalan warranty card installation completion certificate annual maintenance contract and user manual with branch seal he goes to the branch go down and collects all the components listed in the delivery chalan he packs the safety kit and tools required for the installation and loads the components carefully in the pickup truck He unloads the materials with the help of the assistant and carries it inside the school. Technician greets the principal and takes the signature of the end user on the delivery chalan confirming the delivery of materials. Solar powered digital education program installation components. Panel 60 watt 12 volts 2 numbers 40 inch LED TV. charge regulator 10 ampere 12 volts dc to dc converter 12 volts dc to 220 volts dc battery 80 ampere per hour 12 volts the technician prepares for the installation he wears the safety shoes jacket gloves helmet enter the serial number of the panel and battery for warranty fix the module mounting structure to the panel using nuts bolts and screws with the help of spanners After fixing the panel to the module mounting structure, start the wiring of the solar panel. Strip the wires using a wire stripper and connect the lugs using a wire crimper. 
and then connect it to the PV junction box. Red wire positive, black wire negative. Use of cable lugs allows an easy installation, repair and maintenance of electrical devices or cables. In order to mount the panel, decide a place by referring to the side survey form and climb on the terrace using a ladder and mark the optimal place for the module mounting structure Drill holes using a drilling machine and put the anchor bolt and mount the GI pipe. Make sure that you do not drill the pillar or beam which may risk damaging the structure of the building. Fix the panel with the module mounting structure on the GI pipe. Check the direction using a compass and adjust the panel facing towards south direction with appropriate inclination as per the region of maximum radiation. Tighten the module mounting structure using a spanner. Pass the positive and negative wire from both the panels through the PVC pipe. Strip the wires and connect both positive red and negative black wires of both the panels in parallel connection and pass it through the conduit. After fixing the panel, start the wiring inside the classroom. For wiring, use PVC pipes, PVC conduit clamps, elbow joint and T-joint. Now, to connect the charge regulator, keep the charge regulator on the wooden box and mark the place to drill holes for wires. Use a drilling machine and drill six holes to connect the positive and negative wires from the solar panel, battery and load. Fix the charge regulator on the wooden box. Cut the wooden box on the side so that the wire and PVC pipe can be passed through. Pass the wires from the panel, battery and load through the drill holes of the wooden box. Mount the wooden box on the wall and fix the charge regulator to the wooden box. Strip the wire using a wire stripper and attach the lugs using a wire crimper and connect it to the charge regulator. First, connect the battery wire to the charge regulator. Then connect the load wire to the charge regulator. And then finally connect the panel wire to the charge regulator. A case cap is used for the wires from the charge regulator to the battery. Now to connect the battery, remove the battery cap and fix the floats on the battery in order to check the water level. If the indicator is below the red line, the battery needs to be serviced. Scratch off the metal part of the battery for better connectivity. Wind the wire on the rod for flexibility. Strip the insulator off the wire using a wire stripper and connect the lugs using a wire crimper. Apply petroleum jelly on the terminal to avoid rusting. After that, connect the wires to the terminal using a spanner. Red wire to positive and black wire to the negative terminal. Wires from the battery to the charge regulator is passed through the casing and covered with cap. The load wire from the charge regulator is taken 
to the DC to DC converter. Mark the place on the wall to mount the DC to DC converter and drill the wall using a drilling machine. Mount the DC to DC converter on the wall using a couple of nails and a hammer. Strip the load wires from the charge regulator and connect to the DC to DC converter. Now drill the wall using a drilling machine to fix the LED TV mounting structure. Fit the LED TV on the mounting structure with the help of the assistant. Now connect the fuse in the charge regulator enabling the power flow and solar charging. The technician explains the working of the system to the teacher. He also explains about the indicators on the charge regulator and the DC to DC converter and the do's and don'ts, maintenance and safety measures to be taken while using the system. The technician switches on the TV verifying the completion of the installation. Technician takes the signature of the principal on the installation completion statement and warranty card and hands over the warranty card and leaves. The digital education program teacher connects the content device to the TV through HDMI port and equips the teacher with knowledge required to deliver effective teaching using the implemented tools and content and explains the technical operations of the system.